This tutorial will take a look at how you can analyse and import your own samples to use within mDrummer. In the settings menu, select Analyse and Import Sample Library. This opens up the wizard to guide us through the process. Choose a path to where the samples are stored on your computer. Choose a name meaningful to you. This name will be attached to the files you're importing. In the second window, there is a selector menu displaying the different instruments and a keyword window displaying associated keywords. Click Next to continue. mDrummer will now analyse and import the samples. Now, the wizard is showing us the imported samples for the selected instrument. The window below shows samples mDrummer couldn't recognise. To rectify the unrecognised sample, simply go back a page and add a keyword from the sample's name. In my case, the sample contained the term kick, so I will use that as a keyword. mDrummer goes through the same process, this time recognising all of the files. The next window shows how mDrummer will use the samples. It will create component folders with just the imported samples, mixed component folders, drum sets made from the imported samples, and mixed drum sets. Most importantly, mDrummer will detect the loudness of the samples and compensate the gain to make them similar to the factory drums, therefore compatible with the drum set editor. Other selected options are pitch shifting a single tom to create other toms, creating a second snare from snare 1 with pitch shifting. Lastly, mDrummer is set to close hi-hats automatically. You can now see how the samples have been used. 8 drum sets. 8 drum sets randomised, 8 bass components, 2 crash, etc. Now, in the imported folder in the file selector, we can find the sample folder containing 8 drum sets made entirely from the imported samples. The random folder contains drum sets made up from the imported sample drum sets. For instance, a random drum set may contain the kick from the third drum set, the snare from the fifth drum set, the hi-hat from the second drum set, and so on. It's now also possible to add the imported samples into other drum sets. Just browse the component and locate the imported folder where you can add your samples to other drum sets as single components. If you wish to remove the imported samples, just head back to the settings menu and click Analyze and Import Sample Library. Make sure the name field matches the name you gave to the imported files and click Delete all imported drum sets and components. A prompt window will show, checking you're sure you want to delete the listed file paths. If you delete, a confirmation window will appear to confirm the deletion. Thanks for watching. Be sure to catch the next video in the mDrummer tutorial series, where I'll be going over both the effects and mixer tabs.